immigration issue on the hearts and minds of many people in South Texas and across this country. Well, one San Antonio teacher who received her degree here, taught here, and loves her life here being deported today. Digital Features reporter Ryan Lloyd with the story. Aside from her music, first grade at Kip San Antonio is Angie Lee's life. I love them so much and my kids from this year as well. I think that's the main reason why I want to keep doing this work. This year, she's been at arm's length of her students. She can't work with an active visa application. The process is long and just concluded Thanksgiving week. Like all the community, they're like, what can I do? With a denial. But there's only so much we can do because um, in the end, and it's a, a policy and a system and a process. She must return back home to Monterey. I love my country. I love like its colors and its people and its culture. But the U.S. also offers me a lot of opportunities. The road to maintaining a more permanent status is frustrating. Miss Lee says it's not just about her, though. If Kip obtains a cap exempt status, more teachers like her could come here and work fulfilling the school's dual language mission without fear of deportation. I mean, I, I do want to stay here, but it was also not just about me. If, if we got it, then um, it, it could mean teachers could come here in the future. Ryan Lloyd, KSAT 12 News. Lee will begin reapplying for her new visa in January. We reached out to Congressman Lloyd Doggett's office about this issue. In a statement, he told us, quote, Angie is the very type of individual we need, who we need in our community, end quote. He said, quote, she is helping children achieve their full God-given potential. Clearly, our immigration system is broken. We need to make the changes needed to keep Angie and others in San Antonio, end quote. The situation brings up federal immigration policy. President Obama deporting more immigrants than any other president before him. It's yet to be seen exactly what President-elect Donald Trump's policies on immigration will be. He has said in response to what should be done with the type of visa that Ms. Lee is seeking, the H-1B, that it should be eliminated. And Trump admitted that he too has used the H-1B visa to employ workers at some of his businesses.